Hey guys, it's Toys Productions back here again, and today I have another video for you guys. This one is a uh, series, Halo Mega Block series Bravo review. So let's get on to these figures that I have. First off, let's see the 343 Guilty Spark with the add on figure, the Flood. So the Flood here, it's not a bad figure. I do like the Flood, but what I don't like about this figure is the lack of detail. Like, such as like we've got from older elites, um, right here in the torso area, how they had those kind of lights right there. I kind of miss that, but it's an okay figure, not bad, and not the best. Let's move on to the next figure with Guilty Spark. Guilty Spark is the monitor from Halo Combat Evolved, Halo Two, and Halo Three, and he does have a translucent stand if you can see right there and you can pop off his eye to red or blue right there that's on the plate next is the Halo 2 Anniversary Marine I really do like this figure I like to army build Marines because they're the best um, let's see the face sorry if my camera cannot focus that good but eh, whatever he does come with a, uh, maybe a light gray assault rifle, I think. Yeah, a light gray assault rifle. And his overall color is green. And he does come with a base plate. Oh, uh, next one is the ha green Hazob, which is a good figure, I think. I was ex wasn't excited at first, but when I got it, I, was, I felt that I had made a big mistake. So the weapons that it comes with is a... Purple energy sword, I think. Yeah, purple energy sword. It does have a little bit of detail on the torso right here with the knife that got painted in. It is not removable, but what are you gonna do? It does come with a gray jumpsuit, green armor. It does have a peg hole like the Marine and the Flood. And it does come with a base plate. Next one is the NMPD Trooper, which I have about five of them. I think, yeah, five. They're really cool. I really do like the NMPD troopers, especially in the game. He, and he does come with a gray assault rifle. And over here in his torso, it says police. So if you can't see that or not, but it does say police, and then it has the uh, logo right under it. Does it have a peg hole and base plate? Next one is the green grunt, which is the last common. He has he comes with the new Halo 4 uh, plasma pistol. This is the first time we've seen the new plasma pistol in Halo and in, in any Halo Mega Block set. Uh, his armor is a, is green. Skin is a dark brown. I don't know why they didn't decide to um, make it a light. What is it? Um, pretty much like a skin tone for humans, Be because it is game accurate the skin tone, but not this one. But what you gonna do? And he does come with a face plate. Next, starting off the rares, is a skirmisher. This one is painted in a maroon red. Oops, I took him off his base plate. Yeah, a maroon red and a gray on his torso. Does have a nice sculpting on his face. Really like that. Here's at the back view. And then he comes with one of these needle, needle rifles, I think. Yeah, it's a needle rifle, I think, from Halo Reach. And does come with a base plate and has a peg hole on the back. Next one up is the um, the Elite. What was it called again? The Elite. Um, I forgot what kind of Elite this is called, but it's it's an Elite. I know that, but Airborne Elite? No. But you guys can tell me in the comments what kind of elite this is. Sorry I didn't have them up because this will happen. Pretty much. I can't keep them up because of the weight of him. And the translucent piece that he comes with. And he does come... Uh, weapons is a new Halo 4 energy sword. If you can see right there. He does have a kind of cyan, I think, uh, visor. Right there. And a purple, bo um, purple armor and... Brown for the jumpsuit. Wait, do they have jump? Yeah, they do. I think. Yeah. Um, and it comes with a base plate and the um, 
the translucent, the white translucent um piece that could show him like flying into battle. Wait, let me just there. Uh, and that was the last of the rares. The oh, this is the ultra rare. I wasn't a big fan of this. I'm still not a big fan. I um I don't really like this figure. It's it's not anything special or something to be proud of. I mean, it's just a brute miner. Even though it's it's a new mold, I think, but it's a, it's an okay figure. The armor paint job is. I think, yeah, purple, and a, um, he has gray skin, and he is from Halo Reach. He has a um, peg at the back, and a um, uh, base stand. Now, for the um, translucent figures in Series Bravo, oh, this is a long video, um, let's get on to the Red Honor Guard. So, this is the uh, Honor Guard that comes with in one of the packs, it comes with a Halo 2 Anniversary Marine, like this one over here. This one has a Honor Guard, um, Honor Guard sword as its weapon. He's painted in red, if you can see. It does come with a red, uh, red translucent stand, which I really do like these translucent stands and the translucent figure. They're really good. But they kind of feel like they have a different use of plastic. Instead of the old ones, like if I compare the GFO to the, oh, let me get my GFO. Um, this GFO right here. If you actually could feel it, um, it's kind of like a di different texture on the armor. I don't know. But this elite's uh cool. Recommend it if you can get your hands on it. By telling by the codes or feeling the packs, like me. And last um, series Bravo member is the blue or no blue purple I think yeah no blue 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 GFO Spartan um, the uh, weapons that it comes with is a grenade launcher right there and a target designator right there and he's a really awesome figure I love him I mean um, I love him it sounds weird. Um, I really do like him. He is a good figure. And he, I mean, who wouldn't want a GFO Spartan? Spartans are always awesome, especially when they come with two weapons. And um, he has a blue translucent uh, stand. So thanks for watching, guys. My favorite figure, I have to say my favorite figure out of all of them would probably be the Hazop or the... And to a Halo 2 Anniversary Marine. One of those two. And this guy is a pretty good figure, I think. I think um, he's very nice. And this uh, series is a pretty good job. I didn't like it at first. But when I keep getting, on, keep getting packs, I felt that I wanted to make the series. And do a review. So I did. So, tell me which is your favorite or top three characters in the, oh shoot, um, top three characters or your favorite character in the comment section in this series that you liked. And I might, I might, because I have all the figures, I might do a Halo Mega Block Series 6 review. <laughs> that was a long time ago, wasn't it? About 2012 or 2013, I think, yeah. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more epic videos to come. Have a great day.